Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Wine Rookie Tasting. On today's episode, we are opening up a Grand Reserve bottle from Trader Joe's. This is a Petite Syrah, 2022 vintage from the Russian River Valley in Sonoma County. Petite Syrahs are becoming a lot more popular as a single varietal grape where they used to be used mainly for blending, adding body and length to the wines that they're going into. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to give this one a shot and see uh, and learn more of what a single varietal Petite Syrah has to offer. So here we go. All right, everybody, we have Trader Joe's Grand Reserve Petite Syrah from Russian River Valley poured out. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look and see if this was worth the money we paid for it. Every single Grand Reserve sells for $12.99. So that's uh, what we're gauging as our uh, price point. Is it worth more? Is it worth less? So first we go ahead and uh, swirl the glass. We want to activate those aroma compounds. For those of you rookies at home that don't know that, uh, this helped us better assess the aromas. And here we go. This is a very fruit forward wine. I get notes of blackberries and blueberry jam. There's a herbaceousness of black tea. Um, and there's some pipe tobacco, vanilla, and some graham cracker in here, which lets me know that this wine has been oak aged. Um, now we're going to go ahead and taste it. That's really how we're going to assess if we think this wine's worth the value because we're really only enjoying this wine after we drink it. So here we go. Sorry to interrupt during the tasting, but I was just wondering how many of you knew that Petite Syrah was spelled differently than Syrah with an I, not a Y? Comment down below if you knew the difference, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Back to the tasting. Wow. Again, lots of fruits on the palate. The blueberries are just overwhelming my senses. Blackberries, mulberries. It's almost like just a mixed berry jam here. Really delicious. As the finish goes on, I'm getting notes of black olive. There's a little bit of vanilla and black pepper on there as well. The oak aging kind of disappears and take a, a backseat to the fruit forwardness. Not surprised. Petite Syrahs are very small grapes, concentrated with uh, lots of natural sugars and uh, a thick skin, which usually produces a lot of tannins, but uh, the tannins aren't so present. I'd say medium tannins, medium plasticity, and full-bodied. It's definitely really delicious. Um, there could be some better balancing notes to this wine. Again, it's usually used as a mixing grape, uh, so I'm not surprised that there's some balancing issues here. Uh, but overall, if you like a really fruit-forward wine, you don't like something so tannic, uh, you're tired of Cabernets or Zinfandels, maybe give this Petite Syrah a shot. Until next time, guys, cheers.